Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, guys, wherever you are on this beautiful world. Whenever you're watching this video, welcome to the Bitcoin family channel. For the newcomers, my name is Didi. Today, again, talking about Bitcoin blockchain and life, I'm going to show you which price Bitcoin needs to reach for the miners to still be in profit after the halving. Also showing you some really cool other Bitcoin charts, of course, a trading tip, a travel tip, some live advice, of course, answering the questions and the news, much more. Start by giving this video already a thumbs up because it's going to be full, full with cool information for you guys. But let's first jump into the charts to show you exactly what is happening to Bitcoin today. The first chart for today, guys, is this four hour chart with all those Fibonacci levels. Uh, we will come back to that later. But like I said to you guys, if we go up and we meet that resistance level that we were before as well, seeing as a resistance, we probably will take back to this level over here that will become a support level because here it was a resistance, here it was resistance. So there was a lot of resistance at this level over here. You can see resistance. We couldn't break it here again resistance so we are retesting that level here before we can continue if you zoom out to the daily you can see the same we were talking about this bullish pennant we did break out we did pull back to the top now this candle is going to close in 13 hours so let's see if it closes above that white line if it closes above that white line that's a beautiful retest before we take off to those 70 80k levels guys here on the bottom we can see the macd blue line will start to cross that red line we will see less red bars and green bars starting on this daily chart rsi enough upward potential possible so amazing positions to go up and go to this 80k levels guys now let's jump into some more cool charts over here this is the first one this chart is showing you that yes 2023 is a year in the c category the years of hard times low prices good time to buy stocks corner lots goods etc all chart of course they should be adding bitcoin to this so 2023 amazing year to add bitcoin most of you did most of you did follow me and added bitcoin 2024 and 25 all the way to 2026 probably december 2025 amazing years to take profits because look the price is rising and good times to sell them so the bear market will again be in my honest opinion 2026 and then of course here in the larger perspective 2032 would be the next amazing year to buy and 2035 would be the next top year that will be a year that there will be panics and there will be another panic in 2035 probably but for us now 2023 2025 amazing years to be alive you should be in bitcoin we have this chart over here this is on the monthly chart this is also a fibonacci line again to show you how important these fibonacci levels are every time when we break that blue line that fibonacci level we will see a bull market 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 and here we are finding it we want to break it let's see if we can break it this month if we break it we will see another massive bull market amazing to see how this fibonacci line every time again and again is an important line now then we have something really cool um, I found this one on Twitter and I really liked the way he was talking about this chart or tweeting about this chart. Because on this chart we can see all these red circles on top. Every time before this bull market top over here, this is the price, the black line, we will go and visit this 90% plus addresses in profit area, the pinkish area. Six times, no, five times before the top and the sixth time is the top. Let's check. Over here, first time into that area second time third time fourth time fifth time sixth time yes the sixth time to visit the 95 percent area is the top and then bam we have a bear market over here way back one two three four times five times six time over there if you look to the bottom is that bull market top it looks like a little hop in 2014 it looked really high just like 2017 now let's go forward to now the first time second third fourth fifth sixth time ultimate top huge bear market now today this is the first 
time. So we have way more pullbacks to come, retracements, dips, and another five times to reach the 90 plus percent addresses and profit level. And the sixth time, that will be the moment you need to be sell and take all your profits because after probably the bear market will start again. Because it happened not only one time, it not only happened two times, it happened three times in Bitcoin history. So it's very important that you analyze the charts, do TA, and you will see this is the first time that 90 plus percent are in profit and it will occur a few more times during this bull market. Then we have this chart, it's also a monthly chart. Yes, we are zoomed out today, a lot of monthly charts, but here we can see as well, 2017, that were the top, 2021 was the top, 2025 should be the top if we use this range. We have upper range, top levels, a middle range and a lower range. Lower range was the bottom, lower range was again the bottom, lower range in the far future 2026 will again be the bottom, probably above 45,000 US dollar at that moment. But the range to the top at the moment gives us a prediction of a top here around 142,000 US dollar. The mid range, we are there now exactly at that mid range. And when we break that mid range, bam, we will see a bull market, the second part, bam, the second part, and here again, bam, that second part, taking all the way into 2025. Now, the last chart for today is this one. We have four cycles by now. The first cycle has the biggest arrow, a little bit smaller arrow, a little bit smaller arrow, and again, a little bit a smaller arrow. But even if this arrow is smaller than all these previous arrows, we will still reach these 140 to 170,000 US dollar levels with Bitcoin. The bear market is the moment to buy. I've been telling you already to buy this bear market over here. That's the first bear market I told you to buy in 2015, 16. I told you to buy the bear market in 2019. And I also told you to buy the bear market here at 16K at 2022, guys. And then now we will go into that second massive part of the bull market that will go maybe even to 170k. Let's see. For me, 140k is still a very beautiful target for Bitcoin. I hope you really enjoyed those charts. Yes, short term, we can see Bitcoin going up and down between 70k and 65k. Amazing opportunities to trade if you're a short term trader. Long term, the halving is going to happen within two weeks, guys. Within two weeks, halving, which means not 900 new Bitcoins will be mined every day, but only 450 new Bitcoins will be mined every day. That's 50% of the amount of Bitcoins that's going to the market newly every day now. That will lead into a supply shock. Don't be fooled. Keep buying each and every dip, every time. When we go back to the 65K, 64K, 66K, add to your portfolio. Keep stacking sets. There will be moments we will be at 70K, 80K, and 90K, but I will come back to that later in this video because something really important is going to happen. And if we don't go up in price, there will be a disaster for a huge part of this industry. But I will get back to that later in this video. Now let's jump into the trading tip. The trading tip for today is about Fibonacci levels, guys. In the last couple of videos, I've told you, this is the support, this is the resistance area. The support and resistance area we're taking from the Fibonacci retracement levels. So when we see a bottom, when we see a short-term top, you can draw the Fibonacci levels and you see to which levels we will fall and which levels will become resistance. So always educate yourself on the Fibonacci retracement tool in TradingView and of course all these levels and what they mean. So the trading tip for today is go and do some research about the Fibonacci retracement tool. Try to use it on TradingView tomorrow and let me know if you found out which support and resistance levels there are now for the upcoming weeks. So you need to look at the right time frame to be able to see the support and resistance level of the next upcoming weeks. Comment down below which is the major support, major resistance level if you look ahead for a couple of weeks and you will be able to win a Bitcoin t-shirt. So that was a trading tip for today. Fibonacci rules. Bam. And another travel tip with Bitcoin, guys. When you're traveling with Bitcoin, try to stay 
anonymous. And yes, it's really weird to hear this for me because we didn't stay anonymous. It was impossible for us to stay anonymous when we were bombed to the Bitcoin family and when we went full hardcore for all that media. We did doubt about that story, of course, in the beginning. Do we want this? Do we want to protect our privacy or do we want to go and support the peaceful revolution of Bitcoin? What do we do? We chose to support the peaceful revolution of Bitcoin to the fullest by not being anonymous. But for normal people, if you don't have social media reach, if you don't make too much income with social media, please make sure you always stay anonymous when you're doing transactions. Try to do as much as possible non-KYC related Bitcoin things instead of KYC related Bitcoin things. If you need to exchange Bitcoins, try to do it peer to peer by meeting people somewhere in the world, not by doing it online where you need to verify your passport, your driving license, your proof of address and all that stuff. Try to stay as much as possible anonymous when you're traveling with Bitcoin, not only for safety, but of course also for tax reasons and many other reasons, guys. So that's the travel tip for today. Anonymous privacy should be number one when you're traveling with Bitcoin. To answer the question of one of the followers, the question was, Didi, uh, what about Torre Vieja? Is it already possible to pay a little bit Bitcoin? Did you already investigate? We still need to go to Torre Vieja. It will take another couple of days when we will be in Torre Vieja. And then I will start to investigate if that is really true. The news article that I read, maybe you can see it over here where they announced, hey, Torre Vieja is going to be the Bitcoin hub in Spain. So make sure you will be there. I will be there and I will go visit it and I will check if the stores accept Bitcoin, if the hotels accept Bitcoin, if the rest restaurants accept bitcoins and of course if the beach clubs accept bitcoins for beautiful bottles of Bacardi or any other kind of rum or gin tonic whatever it is I want to see Torre Vieja really has it to become this new bitcoin hub in Spain so that is why we are going to live there for a couple of months to check how Torre Vieja is doing and maybe even if we can support Torre Vieja we will support them by you know doing some meetups or whatever it is to show the world hey Torre Vieja is the real deal but I need to become convinced myself first so the answer to the question is I can't give you an answer yet I haven't been to Torre Vieja yet it's the first time ever we will go there as a family and we will see and when we will see we will let you know how the Bitcoin adoption is doing in Torre Vieja Spain vamos a la Torre Vieja and now we arrive at an important item that I already announced at the beginning of this video because we need to reach a certain price for Bitcoin after the halving for the miners to still be in profit. Because if the miners are not in profit, then it's a dangerous situation. The miners need to be and stay in profit because they keep the whole blockchain safe and secure. The price that we need to reach with Bitcoin after the halving for the miners to still make profit is 80,000 US dollar per Bitcoin. So after the halving, as quick as possible, Bitcoin should be around 80,000 US dollar because else the miners are making losses. And they can make losses for a couple of weeks, couple of months. But there will be a time that the Bitcoin price needs to go higher than 80,000 US dollar for them to make profit again. So it's very important. Every time in this part of the cycle, I've been educating you year after year, be prepared. If the halving happens, the miners need to make profit and if they want to make profit, Bitcoin needs to be at a certain price. After the 2020 halving, the previous halving, the Bitcoin price needed to raise to above 30,000 US dollar for the miners still to be mining profitable. And what did the Bitcoin price did at that moment? We went from 20K to 40K. So we even went higher than that target of 30,000 US dollar. The top of that 2021 bull market was even 69K. So that's a double of the price that we needed to be around that halving for Bitcoin miners to still be profitable. Now, after the halving, at least 80K. Are we going to double again to 160 or maybe 140, something in that area? That is, if we copy the history of Bitcoin after the halving, we will go to these levels. 
120, 130, 140, 150, 160,000 US dollars per Bitcoin. That is the level that the Bitcoin miners are definitely in profit, can take their profits, and then again have enough profits to survive the next 12 month bear market in 2026. Because in that bear market, they will probably not be making profit. So they need to survive that bear market. The rent of the buildings, the employees, the electricity, the equipment, everything else, the fixed costs will continue. They need to be able to pay those fixed costs even in the bear market when we drop below the Bitcoin minimum mining price. And that's how the game is played every time again and again. 80k very soon if you ask me because we can't have the miners making losses. The last part of the video guys, the inspirational part. Today is a, a very short inspirational thing but I think it's a very important uh, thing. Attitude is a very small thing, but it makes a huge difference. It's attitude towards yourself, it's the attitude towards other people, it's the attitude to life. This very little word, short word, makes a huge difference when it comes to living life. Your attitude is very important. For me, a very humble attitude is the way into a beautiful future. I will always stay humble. I will always be that guy on the beach with cheap t-shirts and flip-flops because that's my attitude towards life, a minimalistic approach. And I can see this happening now with more and more influencers. They were first like showing off with their Lamborghinis and all the big houses. And now the more Bitcoin is going up, the less clothes all these influencers are wearing. <laughs> that's even MM Crypto made a post about it. The richer we get, the more minimalistic we live. My reply to him was, yes, that's why I have always been in the bull market. I have always been wearing my Bob Marley t-shirt and my flip-flops because that's the attitude towards life. All that luxury stuff doesn't bring you that happiness that you expect of life. So why would you buy all that? I'm 45 years old, so I went through that cycle already when I was having my companies, when I was still in that accumulation phase of materialistic stuff. I want, I'm more, I'm more. That didn't bring me that happiness that I wanted. So the attitude towards life, the attitude towards people, the attitude towards certain subjects is very important in life. And I think that is a very important mind shift that you need to make towards all those things. Attitude. Don't have that bitchy attitude. Don't have that posh attitude. Don't have that attitude, I am better than you. Don't have that attitude, you can't be the same like me. Stay humble, have a humble attitude. Smile towards life, smile towards all the problems in life, smile towards other people that are richer than you. Don't try to equal with them in attitude. Stay humble. Wow, amazing that you're so rich. I feel also very rich. I have a wife and three daughters and a gay dog. Also very rich. I don't need the billions, the millions, the trillions. I need them around me as much as possible. So attitude towards life is a very important thing. That was everything for today, guys. I hope you really enjoyed today's video. If you did enjoy the video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends and family, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, and leave a comment. What do you think about the charts, about the tips, about everything else, and what is your attitude towards life? I wish you an amazing day, and see you tomorrow again. Bam.